Oh my gosh, it's a family of monkeys. So, all done. The airplane. This is a bingo from Zanzibar. I finally have a chance to get into it. Over the peak of ripeness, which is fine. Mmm, with how the fermented taste to it because it's a little overripe. Yeah, like it it has that a little bit of a tingle on your no. tongue. It's fermenting, I think. Today's Benji's day because we're gonna day. take it's my day. Every day's your been day. my day because I've been with you. Aww. We're gonna be taking a coffee tour. There's a coffee plantation here in Arusha. Who needs a safari when you can see wild gigantor ants? Jeez Louise that thing is huge. All these are coffee plants. So now I want to give you the short briefing about the coffee. The coffee discovered in Ethiopia. So the one who was a shepherd, he was around into the bush mm -hmm. with his uh, animals. Those animals were eating the, mm -hmm. the red cherry. So after after beating uh, after beating this one, so the animal change their normal behavior yeah mm -hmm. okay they start to be active to be cheerful mm -hmm. so that's man for several days he saw <laughs> he saw that so wow that's the coffee bean and he soaked it to the water mm -hmm. and then he washed it and then he uh, dried to the sun after mm -hmm. that he crashed into small pieces but uh, let me find this oh, pretty one. it's almost like a tropical fruit really well like it's got the gooeyness around the uh, seed, like a lychee or a um, chocolate, mm. the cacao, cacao, cacao plant. It's the same thing. It's got the gooeyness mm. around the seed. After I took it to his home, he mixed with the tea. So when he was uh, testing, he decided to, to, to test the coffee without mixing it with anything. He liked it. Mm. After that, he started to, to use the coffee with the family members. And they started to use the coffee. Cheers! Go ahead and try it. Oh yeah. You can get their eyebrows higher. <laughs> Tanzania and you know what if you want some good eats you have to check out this restaurant all the locals love it and guess what you as a tourist will also love okay. it too we'll check it out. yes we're at the Shanghai restaurant and I told Benji it's gonna be authentic yeah I can only imagine how hot it would have looked from Kilimanjaro oh man, oh, man. Kilimanjaro <laughs> oh my goodness this is the dance team right here Chris and Amanda that's right oh. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Amanda's recording right now. <laughs> She's a vlogger. You're a vlogger. <laughs> is it recording still? Yes. Be careful with that, okay? My face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see my tongue. Don't lick it though. Oh, you just totally licked it. It's okay. <laughs> I want to put it to me. Oh, no, no. This one you can't do it. I can vlog you though. Can you say something? Uh, say, can you say, it's Judy's life? It's Judy's life. <laughs> say hi to the camera. Hey. Say hi to the camera. Hey, I'll say hi. Hello! Blah! 
super tall. Super tall right here, man. Coming at you live from Ombushe. <laughs> I'm here with Morgan. Hi. She's with Convoy of Hope. We are heading to the Women's Empowerment Program, where I think they're... <sighs> I'm not sure what's happening. Do you know what's happening? <laughs> yeah, Judy is gonna get to talk to so many young girls, um, ages 14 to 19 or 20. Oh my gosh. Who are so excited to meet her and hear her talk about skincare and what? makeup. <laughs> they are so excited. I'm just like, I don't even know what I'm gonna say. There's Dowdy. Hi, people. <laughs> Hello. Hello. For the eyes, it's actually quite natural, but I did put eyeliner on her eyelids and smoked out the bottom. You, you put on your makeup, you look so beautiful, so they want to dance to that one. So quickly, my name is Judy Travis. I'm a YouTuber, and every year we do a fundraiser where we dance for donations. And this year, our goal is to raise one million dollars to feed over 100,000 children all over the world through Convoy of Hope. So if you can dance with us, we would love that. charge of the amazing video montage. He's a lot more artsy than I am. I have to say, today was my favorite day of the trip because I got to speak with young women and they're so kind, so proper. They just love to dance. I asked them, what do you guys like to do on the weekends? They say, listen to music and dance. And the dance moves that you saw, that was choreographed by them. They don't have a dancing instructor or anything. So every weekend they come together after school and they just dance. I wish I had like a dancing group. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna call it a night here. Gonna go home tomorrow. I'm really excited to go home to my girls. I'll see you tomorrow. Night night Austin. Thank you too. I really love you so much. <laughs> and I like you because you protect myself. Oh, you're so good. You look good because of you. So God bless you. Have a nice day. Oh. God be with you all the time. Like oh. you and I love you so much. Oh, I love you. To die. To die? Should die. Should die. Should die. Should die. Yes. And you're five years old? Yeah. You're the same age, or my daughter is almost five. 
<laughs> yes, her name is Juliana. Juliana. You want to say hi to Juliana? Yes. Say hi, Juliana. Hi, Juliana. Hey, can you say hi to Mia and Kira? Say hi, Mia and Kira. Cooking <laughs> oil, just coconut. So it's a coconut cooking oil. oil yeah. And that's what you use to clean your skin. Yeah, and my first thing to use in the makeup. So this is her first time. She applied makeup for the first time ever. Yeah. And you did such a good job. Thank you. You're a natural. <laughs> Thank you. Nashra. And Nashra had all the dance moves. I was watching you. You were like, show me. Thank you. Oh, like, like, I was like. I love it! Oh, thank you. <laughs> I would like to thank you all and we love you all. Oh, so sweet. Thank you. Take a look at me now. I'm just saying. Mariah Carey. 